through eight innings and no runs. That was impressive. Now, you know, he, he showed tonight what he can do when he keeps the ball down. And we've seen the 96 to 98 stuff. But when he's 92, 94, and he's down with a sinker, um, he gets a lot of ground balls. and getting some double plays, which is huge for him. Uh, he uses changeup effectively, uh, and he used the high fastball at times to strike guys out. Uh, there was a few up that were hit hard, but uh, he's learning. And he's getting better, and he wanted the ball. Uh, he wanted to finish the eighth, um, which impressed me, and he felt good about himself. So that's, that's a lot to build on. Take us through that meeting on the mound, what was said, and the decision-making to face Bronco. Yeah, when I, Hark had said that um, Zig was ready, uh, I was thinking about bringing him in to get a ground ball. And as I was walking out there, I, you know, I just wanted to talk to him and see, look in his eyes and see what I saw, and also talk to uh, Castile. And both of them were very positive and felt really good about being able to get uh, the outs they needed. So I just tapped him on the chest and said, you got it. Was that as good as you've seen him this year, you think? Yes, definitely. I mean, he's probably had more electric stuff velocity-wise, but he's just starting to pitch, which is important for him. You just talked about the, the starters this last three games. You've just had an outstanding between uh, Godley, Corbin, and Donovan. Right, right, that's true. They've done a nice job. Um, they've worked down in the zone like we're trying to teach. And um, you, know, you know, we always talk about Things are contagious, hitting, pitching, and, and it just seems like when one guy has a good outing, now the next guy wants to do better and and, by, and keep it going. So we'll see see you about tomorrow. Has Ruben been using the two-seamer more recently, or is it just a better two-seamer? I think probably it's a better two-seamer, and yes, he is. We're, we're, you know, Hark has, has really, really tried to get him to use it more and more as the season's gone on. How important is it for a pitcher like Ruby to get the early runs and get the lead and you know to start out ahead? I think it's important for any pitcher. Um, you know, two, two nothing round to shoot is nice. I mean, uh, it wasn't like it was where he could just put it on cruise control. He had it definitely. Uh, Any time a guy got on, tie and run comes to the plate. So, um, yeah, we always tell our guys pitch like you're, you know, tied or one run ahead. Well, he had to do that the whole time. How was uh, Wellington's elbow? He's pretty sore. I mean, it was a big knot right at, right on the right on the end of the elbow there, and um, I think there was three or four times we thought about taking him out. But he just, he's a tough guy. Same with the leg. You know, it's hard to get a read. That's why I kept him out yesterday, because he kept saying he could play and just wanted to give him one more day. But now I got the elbow, so we'll have to go into the training room after and see what, what's going on with him. Jim, how encouraged are you with Ruby pitching with him? Gets the early lead, but he stretches himself out with, with the early lead. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're encouraged by, you know, anything we see positive with, with any of our pitchers, obviously. But Ruby... Um, it's starting to come on. He's ha getting back into those good outings. And like you know, Dave Stewart just said to me, he said, hey, if we can get eight out of ten starts like that, um, we'd be in business. So we, we traded for him for a reason. We know he has his stuff, and he's starting to develop. And the, you know, the mind is starting to come, and, and Wellington is helping him a lot. So it's, it's important. So uh, we're excited. Do you think with Ruby, it just, it just took a team that was willing to live through the rough patches to let him find that growth in the majors? Yeah, I think so, but I, you know, overall, I don't know how rough it's really been. There have been some patches, but um, you know, you always see the stuff, you know. And, and I think uh, maybe that's maybe that is true. And uh, we, you know, we've stuck with him, and we've told him from the start that, you know, he's going to have to pitch well. I mean, he had to stay in the major leagues; it's not easy. But he, he was going to get the opportunity to go out there, um, you know, every fifth day. So he's, I think he feels comfortable about that, but it's sort of that it's, it's, you don't want him to be too comfortable to the point where he doesn't care. So he's really shown us every time, even when he struggles, he knows, you know, why and what he has to get better at. So he's starting to get, it, get better and better. It's just helpful to know that if you have a bad outing, you'll pro probably get the opportunity to make an adjustment and get another one. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that could be, but, you know, too many and <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody's that safe. Early on, obviously, Andrew gets picked off in second. Talk about the frustration level on that. Is it just a case of maybe being well, overly aggressive? Or? Yeah, I think just he, you know, with, with nobody out, we usually tell our guys on base, hey, let the guy move you over to third. Uh, we'll be happy with that. And then maybe with one out, go ahead and try to steal it. So I was surprised that he tried, um, but I know that he's very prepared in what he sees in video, and um, I don't think they'd seen that inside move, and it was a good one by um, Youngman. So, um, you know, it, is fr it is frustrating, I have to say that. As, as a manager, coach, instructor, it doesn't matter. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff double, and now all of a sudden there's one out. So 
Uh, but we understand that that's how we play, and we sometimes we freewheel and we get in trouble. Did Youngman's command seem to get better after that first inning? Yeah, definitely. He's got good stuff. Yeah, good young pitcher, Youngman.